Welcome back to another Katan video guys. Today we're going to be playing 1v1 and I am really liking this 6 9 10 spot which I will be pointing towards the right so I can build on the weak port and he might go ahead and take a combination of 10 11 8 and then 8 5 10 or he could go with 6, 3, 4, paired up with 10, 8, 11. We do need to secure some sort of an ore on the way back. So let's see what spots we end up getting. Ideally, I would like the 10, 11, 8, but I think that's immediately going to be gone and he might pair this up with the 6, 3, 4. So he can be on all four resources. And okay, I guess not. So I think I'm immediately just going to go over here so that he is stuck with a whole bunch of wheat, doesn't know how to process it. I can get ore, build a city probably over here, start popping dev cards and come to here and then I'll come here and also build towards the wheat port and also have a connect. So let's see if my long con pays off. He also just doesn't have any sheep at all. So that is something else to keep in mind. And there is no wheat port for him to process all of that either. So he's a bit screwed. I will go ahead and build a city if I can now. Because I don't think a 9 is going to roll anytime soon. And I don't mind 7ing out. So he's going to go over there first. So I will, one, two, three, four, do that and come over here. And all I'm looking for is a nine, although I don't mind going ahead and building a city right here. So he isn't even going for that, which is good for us. And let's go ahead and build a city over there. Perfect. All we're looking for is a nine. Okay, we're probably going to be jacked. And he puts it on the 10, which is not the worst for us. That is a great card to have. And I believe I can just go ahead and settle at the moment if I want right now. Hmm. Uh, I'm going to play Risk and do this. Now all we're looking for is a 6 or a 5 or a 9. And I'll just use the Year of Plenty. Perfect. On getting whatever stuff I need. There is an argument that can be made whether or not if I should go ahead and build over here or on the 624. But I'm going to wait it out because he doesn't have the resources. And having a 9... Would be nice, but I don't think that's going to happen. Do I also... One, two... I could also go ahead and build on the weak port, and that... Shoot! Might be a better idea for me. So he probably takes... A wheat. Perfect. So I'll go ahead and I'll do this. Come over here. Actually... He took a wheat. He doesn't. I don't think he has it. We'll do that. And then literally another five or six can get us a settlement right there. Or a ten. Wow. Will I use the ten? Probably not. Although. Although, although, although. Blue is close, but blue needs six cards. And I don't think a four has rolled. So I don't think it's possible for blue to build just yet. He is probably going to go over there. So, again, 5 or 6. 5 or 6. 
Ooh, massive block. Okay, so that's another road. And for the sake of time, point up, he points up. He cannot build, so I will go ahead and build. Perfect. One, two, three, four. Two of these. Come over and build that up. Taking away his spot. Building a city on that. And then that should give us the immediate win. I can also come down over here. And let me go ahead and block his 10 so it slows him down. He has to port all of that. Massive block. And using the 5, I'll probably turn it into... A dev card, I think, is the smarter move over here. Perfect. Another 5 or 6. Great. And I will turn that into a city over here. 9. All I'm looking for is a 6. Could I have... I didn't notice, but maybe I could have taken... And cut him off from there, but don't really want to do that. Would it be more efficient? I think it would be more efficient for me to just do this and take road. I'm thinking if I go over here and then connect upwards, I like that idea. So let me come down here. And actually, what am I going to do with all that wood? Let's just do that. So as long as he doesn't jack my brick, we're good. And as long as I can roll another 5 or a 6, takes my sheep, which is helpful for him. And now the block is probably still going to be the 10. Perfect. So we have a settlement right here. And then I think once we have brick, we'll build over here, connect, and then just start buying a whole bunch of dev cards. And theoretically, I could also race him to this spot. Let's put it on the five. Two dev cards. We got a mono, which is helpful. Okay. I'm gonna try taking a risk. And the risk paid off. So, that, uh, so those are two more dev cards, plus the longest road for us. Or a settlement. And then buy a dev card. And just waiting for him to play his turn. He might just quit right now. Also a possibility. Doesn't quit. So let's go ahead. One, two, three, four. Break, settle. I like that. So, oh! That was a misclick. That was a misclick. Oh my god. I goofed up. Well, let's just do this. And then, of course, of course, what a misclick. Let me discard one of these, put it on the 10. Perfect. And he has not bought any dev cards. And this is such an easy win for us. We are, we dominated with the wheat. Absolutely insane. And I don't mind being blocked on the wood, but why not? And let's just see if we can finish out with VPs. I may go ahead and do that. So next time we get blocked, I'll probably just keep it on me. And unfortunately, blue sevens out. Rough. Surprised they have not quit yet, so respect to them. And they're still at four points, really. So once we take road and army, we're going to be at 13. So let's just go ahead and do that. I don't want to wait it out now that I think about it. I don't know how much wheat there is. I do not regret that decision because it slows him down. 
get two more knights. Block an eight. Go ahead and put it on the five and get another resource from him. Okay, and then buy another knight. Can I? I already played a knight. I forgot about that. More. Okay. Forgot to do this. Put it back on the 10. And one, two, three. I will not take the road just yet. Buy more VPs. One more VP. We at 13, and then I'll sneak away road. Already played my knight. Again, I would be so mad if I were him, but good for him. Finally buys one dev card. So let's move it off, put it over here, buy another dev card, and then let's just sneak away the win, like so. So yeah, guys, that was a fun game. Weak port absolutely destroyed. Good call on that. I mean, he only had... F oh, he did pull a v VP. Oh, man. Would have been fun if he was only at four points. Dice stats were kind of whack. I will say this. Eight rolling 13 times helped me way more than him. And I bought 16 dev cards. We didn't really end up blocking each other that much. And... Yeah, overall, I produced him like crazy. This was always going to be my win from the start. So yeah, hope you guys had fun. I will see you guys next time.